Hey, this is Bill from Caldwood Percussion. And I want to talk to you about our Turkish Crescents. This was our prototype, the first one we built. It's based on the Turkish Crescent in the Musical Instrument Collection at the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. And we built this one for Boston's Handel and Haydn Society when they did their recording of Haydn's Military Symphony. Now since then, we've gotten a lot more interest in this instrument than honestly we expected. Uh, so that's kind of inspired us to create a production model of this instrument. This is our new version. Unlike the original, uh, this is a, a bit more robust and it is easily disassembled for uh, shipping, storage, transportation, whatever. So I want to take a minute and show you just how this thing comes apart and goes together. The way we built this is uh, you have the staff, which is a solid piece of ash. Uh, so it's really strong, but fairly lightweight. That is split into two pieces with a threaded stud connecting them. And then once we put those together, we can slide on the two bottom bell sections. And then we have the top bell section to go on top, obviously with this little bell tree and this topper that holds the whole top section together. The first thing we're gonna do is assemble the, the main shaft, which just screws together. It kind of takes a minute. The stud is pretty long, but we wanted that added strength. The other thing that gives this a little bit more strength and stability is the bell section that's going to cover this joint has a long brass sleeve that keeps it from being able to flex. So the, the likelihood of that breaking, regardless of how vigorously the instrument is played, uh, is, is you're really probably safe. You can put the bells on with it laying down. I, I find it's easier if if it's standing up, leaning against something, or on some kind of stand. So I'm gonna set it up on the stand we made and show you the rest. Uh, this is just something we kind of threw together with some, some stuff laying around the shop. It's the bottom of a cymbal stand, the top of a guitar stand, and just a little metal bowl attached. Pretty easy thing to just whip up, but anything you have that you can just lean this against would do. There's a little bit of an order of operations here. The two bottom bells are these two smaller ones. Uh, this larger of the two needs to go on first because this one will go on under it. And we're going to attach all these with these uh, Chicago screw connectors. Um, so all you need to put this thing together is a couple screwdrivers. I'm going to begin with this kind of medium sized bell and slide that up until it lines up with these holes. And as I said, here's the seam. This is going to cover and support that seam. So once you get that in line with the holes, you take the female side of the Chicago screws, and put those in the holes, and then a couple of these small quarter 20 bolts to go through the other side. Once those are in there, we can take our screwdrivers and tighten those so that they'll stay put. Now, if you don't expect to ever need to disassemble this thing or, or disassemble it very, very infrequently, you could throw a little bit of blue Loctite in there um, just to prevent these from ever kind of vibrating loose or anything like that, but it's really not necessary and um, it might be kind of inconvenient if you figure I'm taking this thing apart a lot. Uh, so the next step is to grab the smallest bell and do the same thing. It lines up with these holes on the bottom. All right, so now that we have the bottom part of the instrument assembled, we're going to assemble the top section and put it on the shaft. So here's how we do that. So this fluted top section uh, mates together with this top bell tree. It's symmetrical, it doesn't matter how you put it on. Just slide it down into place. Next, this topper crescent. Just drop it in, give it a spin, and you're good to go. Now that the top is assembled, you can put it on the top of the instrument, line up the holes, and we can insert our Chicago screws just like 
We did on the bottom section. I'll add those quarter 20 bolts and tighten them up. So there you have it, that's our Turkish Crescent. This one is about to be on its way out to Interlaken for the percussion department there. Uh, but if you would like one, feel free to drop us a line. It's calderwood.percussion at gmail.com. You can find us on Instagram or Facebook. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Thanks and uh, see you next time.